Hey there, crafty friends, and happy Friday. It is Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our What's New Today at the Doodlebug. So Friday, we made it through another week, and that just means another five days have gone by, gone by that I'm still behind another five days. So um, thank you so much for everyone for being patient with us this week as um, I get back into the store and into the, you know, I shouldn't say back into the swing of things, but just get caught up. Um, I know it's Friday, but I still feel like I'm running, I'm working on Tuesday. So lots to do yet. I have not even, so when I go to these trade shows, I get so invigorated and I start brainstorming. So on the plane, I made a page and a half list of notes of things I wanted to do, wanted to get done. Um, I've gotten two of those things done so far this week. One of them was payroll. It had to be done today by 10 o'clock. I finished it at 9.55. So, um, so yeah, I've got lots of great ideas and great things that are eventually going to happen. They just might not happen until 2026 because it just takes this girl a while to, um, to get her arse together some days, if you know what I mean. Um, but today I have the other table and a half of great things to show you from Crafters Companion that we did not get to yesterday. And then I've also got some really great papers that we got in from Echo Park and Cartabella. Some new solids to add to our cardstock wall. Oh, thank you, Miss Shannon. Shannon always shares the love. And what that means is she shares the video on her timeline. So if you want to do that too and you want to share the love, that just helps more crafty friends find um, find this little store in southern Indiana. Um, but we're going to look at some papers from Cartabella and then also one of our local crafters, Becky. She brought in some of the most stunning card samples for me today. I think I've told you guys I am trying to get so much better. Um, Let's see, are you on every day about, oh, so yes, yes, and yes. Oh my gosh, and Donna, you're in Northern Indiana, so I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much your local store. I am on almost every afternoon, Tuesday through Friday. Mondays, I work from home. Um, so Mondays, you may get a lot of emails. You'll see a lot of Facebook posts, things like that going on on Mondays. That's my computer accounting and marketing day um, on Monday. So I'm not physically in the store. And then Saturdays are usually hopefully too busy that we don't do a live on Saturdays. But if we're slow on Saturdays, I will tell you, girl, we're, you're going to see some things going on sale because we got to make some money if that cash register is not ringing. And we do ship. We are also online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, Com. Um, and we ship free at 85 bucks. So yes, hopefully that was a little bit of information for Donna and everyone who just jumped on. So I'm going to show you what is new today. And what I was telling you, I am getting so much better at delegating a little bit of stuff. And actually, I love Becky samples so much. We're just going to start over here. Um, so I have been trying to get better with realizing that this girl cannot do all the things. I want to make all the samples. I want to craft all the things for you, but um, I just don't get to do that. And so I'm doing much better with asking for help. And I think we know that a lot of times as women, um, that's a really hard thing for us to do is ask for help on things. But you know what? It's okay if you can't get it all done. And I am discovering that that we have some of the most amazing talent um, that's just untapped. So I'm so excited to be seeing the creativity coming out of some of you guys as I am asking you to create samples. So what Becky worked on for us is I've had this die set from Honeybee uh, for a few months now. Yeah, and we've got a few on the shelf. Um, and by looking at this, most people have no idea what this is. Some people will be like, is is this like a, a Thanksgiving thing? Is that a turkey leg? And I'm like, no, those are vases. So we definitely needed samples for this set and wait until I show them to you. So this set is called Bud Vases. It's got five vases in it and it's got this little wire basket here. But you know what? You could probably get creative and turn it into all kinds of other things. And it also comes with a little liner. That's a great little wood plank that, again, you could become creative and turn it into all different kinds of things, too. 
But I'm going to show you some of the things that Becky made for us. And then she is like, but wait, there's more. She's like her own little infomercial. Then she brought me some bonus stuff as well, which I can't wait to show you that. So, okay. Now, just wait until you see these, okay? Oh, look at that. Is that not stunning? So, again, here's the die. People just don't see the potential in the die. Oh, there's our first heart. I know it is. So this is such a good set. Um, and you know, a lot of times when I order them, you know, they'll have a few samples. So I see the samples, but then if I don't have samples in the store, you guys don't see what I see, which makes me want to buy it. Um, so again, she used three of the little bed vases. She's got the wire shelf on there, and then she also has the little plank in here as well. It looks like she did the plank in white and then just kind of drug a little ink pad across it. You can also ink directly on the die and then run it through that way too. So a couple different ways you can add that texture in there. But is that not stunning? And then just a cute little hello sentiment. But wait, she made more than just that one. Here's another one, absolutely stunning. Love, love, love this one. Isn't that not so pretty? And then, <laughs> would you see this one? Oh, she wanted everyone to see that you it doesn't have to just be, you know, every day. You can turn it into Christmas faces too. Is that not beautiful? She's got a great little embossing folder, poinsettia embossing folder in the back. I was so impressed with these cards. I mean, wow. So thank you, thank you, thank you to local gal Becky, giving her a shout out with some beautiful samples today, all using this little Bud Vases um, cuts, die cuts from Honeybee. Absolutely love it. And like I said, I think we've got three, maybe four of these on the shelf. I don't expect them to last very long anymore now that we have these stunning samples to go with them. So there's that. And then her bonus that she gave. So she, um, I need everything for that Christmas card. You've got it. Well, I will ask her what she used as her fillers. How about that? And um, what she used as her poinsettia. She, she's really good at using like everything we have or uh, that she got from the store. So I will definitely get on that for you, Miss Shannon. All right, then, so yesterday I showed you guys some interference inks, um, and I was telling you this is what it's going to look like on white, and this is what it's going to look like on black, because it's it's a two, it's two inks in one, um, and so the shimmer, you see, you see the shimmer on white, but you really don't see the other color shimmer until you put it on black. So these are some panels that she did a few different colors of the interference inks on and then she um and message you okay so do you want me to gather it all for you shannon um is that what you're wanting because i could we, i probably have most of the stuff here that i can put on your tap so i guess i am not for sure what you're wanting me to do but anyway, so she used a few different interference inks. You can see it's just basic black paper, but that's how beautiful they shimmer. So this one here was interference inks on the mandala in bloom. So that is a 3D embossing folder from Spellbinders. And she really, she was telling me about it and she's like, and if it turns out good, I'll bring you a sample. She really wanted to use them on that brand new 3D embossing folder from Simon Hurley and Spellbinders called Plaster. It's a fun one. They did the plaster one. They came out with it when they did his birthday stuff. And we showed you the birthday stuff yesterday that Debbie Meyer did for us. Um, they thought this would come out great with that release because it almost looks like icing. And it does. It looks a lot like icing, but it's technically called plaster. And so that is the plaster with the interference inks. And I did ask her, she um, did her ink blending first and then ran it through the embossing folder. And again, it's just regular black, regular black cardstock with a few different interference inks to get that beautiful shimmer and shine. So great job, Becky. 
Thank you so, so much. So now we have some beautiful samples to go with our embossing folders and showcasing the interference inks. We also have some beautiful samples for this poor little die set that no one knows what it is and it looks like turkey legs to everybody and they're so confused by it so now everyone's going to know that these are beautiful little bud vases so great great samples so excited thank you miss becky all right while i'm over here let's just go ahead and check out these new cardstock colors so again this is a printed cardstock um what does that mean hannah well that means that on the side you see how let me get another one here that's a little better see how the side is light so these are all on a white stock so it's colored paper so it's not the, the brown all the way through it's got a white core which means whenever you emboss you can come across and sand it you're going to see that lighter color if you tear it you're going to see that lighter color so you can definitely do some really neat techniques with this um, sometimes this is not the best paper to use like if you're wanting to fold boxes and score them sometimes whenever you score it and you crease it and fold it you can see it'll kind of um, crack the paper a little bit if um, if that makes sense to you and, and then you can see that white a little bit now pro tip with that is if you do do that just come back in with an ink color close to the same color as your paper and just ink those edges then it looks like a shadow so that's how i fix that um, if i am using a white core paper and it cracks when i'm folding it or whatever i just ink it the ink fills in the white spots and then it just creates shadowing and more texture not a big deal okay um oh what did i said i messaged you i just i didn't know if you're wanting me to like if i don't have the stuff do you want me to order it in um what she used i'm just not for sure because you said then message me um so i wasn't for sure if you wanted me to gather everything and put it on your tab or not all right so printed card stocks now again this is that cartabella paper and you hear me talk about i do love cartabella paper because it's got that that great texture to it it's a real subtle texture i'm gonna kind of see if you guys can see it yep you can see it a little bit there it's not a basket weave it's not a necessarily a linen i forget what texture they call this um, in their paper line but i do like the texture i'm going to kind of go out on the paper so you're going to see the paper's got a little bit of um not like a variation but a little bit of wash to it in places as well and we've got in oh my gosh three six nine twelve like 15 different colors so we're filling in some gaps in our color line here so this color here is slate now I'm going to walk over to the edge of the table because I did two different grays because I've been having trouble finding grays. So we got in slate and a light gray. So I've got two different um, grays here for you now. Then we also did white. So just everybody loves their um, this texture. So I got just a pack of white in. Then for blues, we got in denim. I'm going to pull this to the side so you can see it without the shine. There's denim. And then next to denim, we've got navy. So you can see two really good dark blues. Then going in our blue green section, we have teal. I love that color teal. Isn't that good? And then the one underneath it, I'm going to open it up in the corner. So again, you don't have that glare. Put them side by side. So we've got teal and sea foam next we've got two great dark greens coming in i think these are going to be perfect for holidays coming up but they're just two good green colors so the top one that you see right now is leaf green and the one i'm on the struggle bus with here below is called evergreen so leaf green and evergreen these are all 12 by 12. next we've got purple I'm going to bring this down because they're open down here at the bottom for me already. We've got purple and lavender. So two great ones going to our purple section. Heading to our yellow section and our orange section, we actually have three going there. So we've got mustard, 
I think mustard's really pretty. This one right here is called Amber. Turn Amber so you can see it without the glare. So Amber's kind of, you know, well, Amber's an Amber. It's an, it's an orangey yellow. So we've got Mustard, Amber, and then Yellow. And this yellow is a nice light yellow as well. Heading to the pink section, we've got two different pinks here, and I'm looking over there. I'm, apparently, I just like pink. I don't even consider myself a pink girl. Um, my pink section is full. I did not need these. So I'm like, Hannah Marie, why did you order these? But, oh well, they are here anyway. So the lighter one is called powder pink, and then the darker one is just called pink. Then we have cream. So just, your, just a good cream, again, with that nice felt to it. And then last but not least, we got in a nice dark brown and it's called brown. <laughs> I do like their names. Just nice and easy. Pink, cream, brown, yellow. Love that. All right. So those are our new solids that will be heading over to the solid wall. So as you can see, we needed some greens. We needed some yellows. We needed some of those aqua -y teal colors. But as you see on the end there, this girl did not need pink. It is like full, but oh well, we've got pink anyway. So moving on then, look at my mess I've got back here. Oh my goodness. I'm going to struggle bus back here because I've still, now I, I've still got my suitcase I've got to finish unpacking. Oh, it'll all get done though, right? All right, so where did we leave off yesterday? Yesterday, we left off at our Flamazing Flamingos. So let's check these girls out. So Flamazing Flamingos um, is this super fun little summery flamingo line. I'm trying to hold it so you can see fronts and backs all at the same time. So, of course, very tropical-y. Oh, that's opened up a little bit more. There we go. Oh, that's a really pretty one too. So again, Flamazing Flamingos. So that's the 12 by 12 pad. There is also some an eight by or eight and a half by eleven cardstock pack that matches it. So you can see all the great colors in there. And then there's all kinds of fun stamps and dies in this line. Let's start with um, let's start with embossing folders. So this one here is called Tropical Flora. So you can see it's got these great, beautiful tropical flowers on it, or tropical leaves, I should say. So there you can see it kind of on a solid. So really pretty. It's a 3D embossing folder, five by seven. Flamingo 12 by 12 from a Shannon, you've got it. So that's the embossing folder. Now let's look at masking stencils. I'm sorry, stencils and masks. So masks and stencils. So you get both. What does that mean? So think about a stencil. We're used to regular stencils. Well, all those things when they cut the stencil that would fall out and we normally don't get those, those become masks because you've set those down and then you can ink around them. So they're called masks. Oh, perfect. For, for, you just stop right now. Right now, we don't even want to hear about your Hawaii trips. You have, I still have two trips to scrap, LOL. Shannon, yeah, we're going to LOL you. That is, wow. We are, well, I'm jealous. That's all it is. I am just jealous of you. So that is awesome. You are, you're definitely taking a trip that um, I have been to Hawaii. I would love to go again, though. It is a beautiful, beautiful state. All right, so you've got all these great stencils with the tropical leaves, and then you can see all those fun little masks you get in there as well. So all kinds of fun things that you can do with those. So this is the Fabulous Foliage Stencils and Masks. We've got another little embossing folder set here. These are just, um, they're a little smaller, so it creates this nice little trio panel if you want to. You'll keep me in business. Well, you keep taking the trips and I will keep selling you the stuff to, to scrap them. That, that is a, that is, I, I guess a fair exchange. All right. I want to open this one up. So I'll get to that one. I'm going to open it while, while we continue on here. Next. Oh, this one's super cool. So this is a background plate die 
and it's going to do those super fun tropical leaves. Yes, Shannon, if you go onto our website um, and just type in New York, you're going to see our New York paper. I know we've got one like at the Brooklyn Bridge and things like that. So if you just go onto our site and type in New York, um, it should pull up everything we have for New York right now. Oh, these are nice size. So they're a 2D embossing folder, meaning it's a regular embossing folder. And you get three of them in there. Oh, this would be really pretty. Um, I know we're doing all this tropical-y stuff, but I know we've got a lot of stamps we've gotten in, like about your spirit and freedom and things like that. Um, so that would just be beautiful as a feather on those. So great little set here. So you've got the three different, these are three separate embossing folders that come in this pack. Then the next one we did was the Tropical Background Metal Die. Shake those tail feathers. Yes, for sure. It would all be perfect with that, right? Let's find that shake those tail feathers. It's got to be in this line. Yep, there it is. Here it is. I'm like, it has to be in the line if they're showing it. So this is the stamp set that goes with the line. It's called Be Flamazing. So you can see the stamps you're going to get in here. Stand tall. Pretty in pink, you are magnificent, with much love, be unique, embrace your inner flamingo, dream big, shake those tail feathers, you are beautiful, happy bird day, and be flamazing. I like that, be flamazing. I'm going to flip it over so you can see that there as well. There it is on that same card. So that is the stamp set for the line. Um, again, be flamazing is the name of that one. What have we got next? Oh, here is another stamp set for this line. This is called Together Forever. So it's got two, it's a smaller stamp set. It's got two little flamingos standing side by side there. And it says Together Forever. And keep in mind, friends, this is an acrylic cling stamp. So you can take your X-Acto knife and cut those two little birds apart if you want to. And then that way you could spread them further out on your card instead of having them stand so close together. And then whenever you want them to be close together, you just push them side by side, just like a little puzzle piece. So again, that's called Together Forever. Next, we've got Magnificent, I'm sorry, Majestic, that, I'm just making my own words up here, Majestic Flamingo. It's one of those great edge dies. It's going to do that flamingo there. And then all those beautiful foliage pieces around it. So you've got some cutouts and some negatives that it's going to cut. And you've got all the nice little palm fronds there. You've got, I think, one of those hibiscus flowers. Really, really pretty. And then they've got one of the stamps from the stamp set. So again, this one is called Majestic Flamingo. It's a die. And we've got the Flamingo Silhouette. So there's that one. And then last but not least, all those fun little tropical flowers we've been seeing poking out on some of them as well. It's called Tropical Leaves. So there's that one. Super fun. And now we're going to go into our Totally Tiffany that we got in. So we got in um, some reorders, some restocks, but some brand new stuff as well. Oh, and shoot. Okay, travel with me, friends. We're going we're gonna to go into my suitcase because I want to pull something out. Sorry if I'm making anybody seasick here. Um, all right. So let's pull this out of my, oops, sneak peek, sneak peek. Check it out. Check it out. Now it has to go away. Uh, let's see here. So my fun stuff, fun stuff. Okay. Stuff I haven't got to. This is a 12 by 12 paper taker from Totally Tiffany. And I'm bringing that over because we got other sizes in as well. But I want to show you this one because I have it out of the package. So the 12 by 12 paper taker has this great little handle that goes up and down. So when it's at home on your shelf, you pop them down. So it fits on your shelf just the way you want it to. Maybe it fits this way and then it's got that great little thumb spot there so you can pull your paper out, but maybe you want it to go this way on your shelf. Again, it's got that great little thumb spot so it can 
pull in and out of your shelf. But then if you want to go to a friend's house and you want to grab all your Christmas paper, then it's got these great little handles that pull up. Um, I'm going to just look over to the section here and your collection keepers and all your little storage sorters are going to fit perfect into this guy as well. What do I have? Any sneaky peeks? Oh, I've got some of the new papers from Spellbinders in there. What else do I have in there? Probably things I've forgotten about because I haven't even unpacked my bag yet. But wanted to show you that because we have them in 12 by 12. We also have them in 8 by 8. So this will be great for storing your 8 by 8 pads. And then I also added, where is it at? Oh, maybe somebody bought it off the table. Somebody may have bought it off the table. Um, but we also had had six by six and um, eight and a half by 11 as well. So those are all the different sizes that we can get in these little paper, paper handlers. That's what they're called, paper handlers. So four sizes, 12 by 12, eight by eight, six by six, and eight and a half by 11. So those are awesome. Paper takers four and two, you got it friends. I will get those. Um, I know that'll be more than what I've got on the shelf, but we will get more ordered, no big deal at all. Miss Jen, we are boxing you up a box right now, so we will just start you a pile with those, my friend. Pat wants some 12 by 12 ones, you've got it. All right, so moving on, then we restocked the chastity bags. Remember, chastity is great because I think most of you were getting chastity bags for your distressed inks. But friends, these also fit all your little circular pastes perfectly. Um, and these are nice little like three by, how big are the boxes? They're more than three by three, of course, um, because they're taller than that. They're just good little storage and sorting boxes as well, too. You can keep your gems in these, but the chastity bag has been a really popular one because she sits kind of low, and so you can stack them one on top of each other very easily. Here's some, so there you can see there's the ink pads in them, there's the pastes, Oh, that one's got spools of ribbon in it. It's got little ink daubers in it as well. Note cards, it says. So Chastity is great for a lot of different things. Um, let's see, Inner Dimensions, ink pad sticker sheet, no. 13 inches long, 3.1 inches, yeah, that way, and high, so um, three inches, yep. So you've got really good little three by three boxes in there that are then about four and a quarter inches tall. So lots of great storage for your chassis bags. If you use your chassis bag and you use it for something other than distress inks, let us know in the comments what you're using them for so I can share that with others that are seeing these chassis bags right now. Next, we've got the nine by four slimline storage boxes in. Again, I know right now we've also got the 12, the 12 by six ones in that are perfect for your sticker sheets and your thickers and things like that. But um, this one here, the four by nine is great for, as you can see here, your slimline stamps and dies, slimline stencils, slimline emboss, all of Oh, it looks, it said it was trying to reconnect. So I, you may have gotten a little lag there, but I'm still here. We're still here. Um, and it's also got some little divider pockets that we can get and also magnet sheets. Now I will be honest, the magnet sheets for Totally Tiffany have been on back order forever. Um, so if you're wanting some four by nine magnet sheets, just let me know. And when those start shipping again, you'll be one of the first ones to get them on our reorder list but the little four by nine box here. And then we also have little divider pockets and magnet sheets that we can get to put in those. Oh, the nine by six work perfectly for your alphabet soup stickers. I know I told you that nine by six box is, it's a game changer. I know they did it for totally Tiffany stuff and I love that, but it works so good for sticker sheets and keeping your alphabets all together. I love, love, love it. All right, next up, so we looked at the different paper handlers that we can get. Well, here's some of those divider pockets that can go in those. These are the eight and a half by 11 tabbed divider pockets. And maybe you don't have one of the paper takers, paper holders, I keep calling them takers, paper handlers. There we go, I'll get my words right. 
but you just want to sort your eight and a half by 11 paper, or maybe you want to sort some of your scraps. These are great. Just little divider pockets. Perfect for your different spellbinders cardstock you've been getting, the lawn fawn cardstock you've been getting, some of that beautiful specialty cardstock that we get in from Tonic would be good in here as well. So eight and a half by eleven tab divider pockets. This one here is the five by seven stamp and die fab file box. Okay. So basically this is just a cute little five by seven box. And you can get the little five by seven. Oh, hold on. Let me jump down here. I should have waited a second. Um, for that nine by four divider box I just showed you, here are the dividers that go in it. They were just spaced on the table, not with it. So those are the little dividers that go perfectly inside that box. And then we've got the, oh, so this one here, I want to show you both of these. So this one here is the little five by seven fab file. Okay, so you can see what it looks like. This one has a much better picture than what this one does. So these are the same things, just this one here comes with the file folders already in it. Okay, so this one says it's ideal for organizing your five by seven photos. This file, this fab file is also great for greeting cards, card making supplies, storage, embossing folders, and much more. But this one, as you can see, comes with great little um, little pocket file pockets in there. It says you've got one fab file box, six plastic file pockets, six file folder note inserts, and then six adhesive labels in there. Do I have six by six dividers? Um, well, let, let just wait, There's we're not done. We're not done. So again, this one here is just the box, okay? And there's Miss Irene. Hello, Miss Irene. Welcome to the party today. We are checking out some Totally Tiffany um, that I brought back from Crafter's Companion. All right, so we just did the eight and a half by 11 tabbed um, divider pockets. Here are the eight by eight tabbed divider pockets. So again, great for your little um, eight by eight uh, ones. Um, five by seven fab file times two. Okay. And I'm going to assume since you didn't say with the file folders that you are just wanting a plain box. Okay. So Jen, if I am not correct there, please, here we go. I'm holding it the right way for you. Please correct me on that, but I'm going to do just the plain box for you. All right. So we got that, got that next up. We've got a six by six scrap master organizer. So here you go with the folders. Perfect. Thank you, Jen. Um, so Miss Shannon, to answer your question, yes, we do. We've got a couple different six by sixes here. I'm going to show you in just a second. So first up, we've got a little scrap master organizer. Scrap masters, and we have these, oops, wrong one, Hannah. We've got these in 12 by 12 as well. Love, love, love these. So let me open one up and show you. So these scrap masters are a little bit different than just a regular divider pocket because they are connected. See how they're connected in the middle? So it gives you a little bit more bang for your buck. So you've got a little tab or little folder pocket here. We've got a folder pocket here. We've got a little folder pocket here. And I shouldn't say little. This one has a nice gusset on it. Okay, and I think that's it, yeah. Oh, no, nope, 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 I lied. Here's another one right here. So you've got one, two, three, four. Also notice this has a nice spine on it because then that way you can also put a like a six by six pad in here and then that can go into your filing system. So this is a great way if you are um, basically just, just a card maker, okay? So you can take your six by six pad put it either in here or just set it on the inside. 
then you've got all these great pockets to store your die cuts that go with it, any of the stickers that you got to go with it. Um, maybe you do the Jennifer McGuire method and you cut all of your 12 by 12 down to card size. So then that way you can put your solids in here that match as well. So the little six by six scrap masters are really great for card makers to keep all their coordinating stuff together and in one place. So super, super great. So that is the six by six scrap master organizer. And then answering more of Shannon's question here is the regular six by six tabbed pocket divider. So yes, we've got, we've got a couple options for you, Miss Shannon. You can see that one's got the little labels in it as well. Okay, let's see, I was trying to see if it, so you've got one, two, three, four, five different dividers in this one. So there is the six by six tabbed divider pockets. Then we also got in another one of the five by seven toolboxes. Remember the five by seven is great for, well, storing all kinds of things. You could put some of the five by seven divider files in here as well. But we have sold a lot of these because we discovered that your glue presses fit perfectly in the 5x7 for keeping it organized, keeping it nice and neat, and then also traveling with it. Got that. Next in our little pile of organizational goodies, we've got fab files. So just like the 5x7 one I showed you. Okay, so just like this one, but this one here is four by six. So obviously this one is gonna be great for storing your four by six photos, but also card blanks, okay? Four and a fourth by five and a half, that's gonna fit in here as well, because you can see your dimensions, exterior dimensions, um, 6.5 by 5.25 by 3.25. So it's gonna be fine for your um, card blanks as well in here. It says embossing folders, ooh, and even recipes. I would not have thought of recipes at all. So this is the fab file four by six, and this one comes with some dividers you can see there as well. Okay, so it's got one four by six fab file box, and then five tabbed pocket files. And we've got some more of those as well individually. These also looks like they will fit into an Irene buddy bag as well. I find that her stuff works with so many of her other products. Um, it can become confusing and overwhelming. Uh, they do think of a lot of bells and whistles when they design this stuff, but it is hard to remember what all goes with what. So we have extra four by six tab pockets, and then we've also got the fab file four by six. All right, and then Jen wants uh, the five, oh, you've got that there. Shannon wants six by six tab dividers, two of them, and an Irene. Oh, yes, Irene is on, and we do, gosh, do I have an Irene buddy bag in to even show you? Oh my gosh. Well, Irene, I am going to get an Irene buddy bag in just to show you because every girl that has a buddy bag named after her should, should at least get to see it. Um, let's see. We've got Katya, Katie, Sue, Stephanie, Karen, Chastity, Merrill. And I think that's all that we've got in right now, but, oh, and Kirsten, We've got Kirsten in as well. We just did those fab files. We do have the 12 by 12 fab file on the shelf. Um, so yeah, all kinds of fun buddy bags back here. But yes, I'm gonna have to get in an Irene just for you. All right, does this Irene need a, yes, of course. You know, if they had a Hannah buddy bag, I don't care if I could store anything in it. I would have it just because it's my name. For, so for sure. All right, so there's the four by sixes. Um, then we got in some great little tools from them as well. So just a fun little paper trimmer that they do. Just, you know, uh, no, nothing crazy, amazing, fancy, like, um, like, you know, Tim Holtz is one of my favorite ones, but a very economical paper trimmer. And it's just got a small, as you can see, my box is not really big here. So this one would be a nice one just for traveling and taking with you. Uh, when I travel, I don't take my best, my, my bestest, goodest paper trimmer with me. 
um, because just in case it gets broke in my suitcase or anything like that, um, that way I don't cry when I lose my favorite paper trimmer. But just a good little one, and I do like that it's not super wide, so that way if you're just taking like a little arm tote with you, um, it's gonna be great just to carry it along in your little duffel bag, and it's super light as well too. So paper trimmer going to our tool section. Then now this is pretty fun. As you can see, it's a little hard for me to get back and forth in the box, but I'm going to pull it out and show you. This is a little mixed media mat. Nice size, as you can see here as well. So it's got a non-skid surface, so you can put your ink pad on there. Okay, it's not going to move around on you. It's also got all these great little wells as well. You know, you're not supposed to use those words twice in the same sentence, but wells as well. So you've got all these great little squares up here. And friends, I really wish I would, hold on, just hang out with me for a second. We're going to walk. Um, I'm going to give you this to look at so I don't make you sick. Because as I'm opening that up, I want to see... You're going to come back into the back room. This is where things go to, oh, I don't know what they do back here, but they definitely don't clean themselves up. Look at all my boxes. So we save every box for, and this, this makes my eye just twitch, but we save boxes for shipping your orders out and packaging as you see there too. So yes, it's just a hot mess back there. And sometimes we go back and we're not careful and then all the boxes fall. But we save like almost any box we get that's like 13 by 13 because we need a lot of those. And we like to recycle our boxes as well too because otherwise they just go to a landfill. Oh, I wanted to see, shoot. Well, that makes me sad. It almost made me happy. I was trying to see, well, the lid fits in there. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to see if the little mini inks fit in there. The lid fits in there perfectly. So if you've got any, like a set where the lid fits in with the ink, then yes, those will fit in there. But it was not, it's not gonna work for the little mini inks. Dang, if they would have just, calibrated them a little bigger would that not have been awesome apparently they did not consult me first um, but I do like the little wells on here and then you've got little circles over here as well that you can put your watercolors in you can put your ink reinkers in you could put little pastes in here so many different things that you can do then this is also a like a non-stick surface um and it's going to be a great working surface because it's heat resistant so it's silicon so it's heat resistant so you can heat emboss on here as well you can if you're doing wax seals you can pour your wax onto here Ooh, now that would be cool for these Ooh, and these too you could make now I don't know if your wax seal will poke into that or not, but you could do fun little wax seals. Now your wax seal will fit in this one for sure. So you could do square wax seals, which would be super fun. These would do little baby wax seals in there and then they'll just pop right out because they're silicon. What else has it got on here that I'm maybe not telling you that I'm forgetting? Silicon told you that, heat resistant, waterproof. Yep, check, check, we did all that. Um, let's see, 12 palette squares, ideal for mixing colors together. Yep, we did that. 12 palette circles, perfect for holding individual colors. Yep, we did that. Nine by 12 work surface and tool recess for holding bread. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see that down here. Look at that. That's a great little spot. Now, obviously it depends on which way you're turning this, but if I would turn it the other way, like this kind of work surface, then yes, that is gonna be perfect for me to put my brush down or my spatula down on and not get the muck on my desk. So really, really fun little mixed media mat there. Um, then uh, this is not by Crafter's Companion, obviously, because it says Ranger real big on it, but we did get in another one of the oversized jumbo archival ink pads. Uh, this is just nice because I know a lot of you don't like to take the smaller ink pad and all over the place on it. So this is really nice to just one and done. So you just pop it on there a couple times and you've got your whole stamp 
inked all at one time. This is Ranger's archival ink, so it's acid-free, permanent, and waterproof. Um, now, it is not the best one to use with your alcohol ink markers, though, but it's going to work with dye-based stuff, acrylics, watercolors, anything like that. Moving on, next one. This is super fun. So I thought these were cool as well. Look at this little baby spatula set. I love little stuff. I, I won't lie. Um, so sometimes just little baby stuff makes me happy. But look at these teeny tiny spoons. Aren't they fun? Um, so you've got two different sizes here. These are the same size. They're just... There we go. That makes it easier on the eye. So this is going to be perfect for scooping out um, small amounts of your glitter. Okay. So, you know, if you just want to pull a little bit out and work with some of your glitter paste. Okay. Also, you know how the container starts to get low? These guys don't work in the container once it gets low. Let me pull one of those containers again. We just, yep, here we go. Okay. So you've got all your great little pastes. Starla, everyone needs these spoons. I don't know how I've missed them. I don't even know where they've been my store's whole life because these are so stinking cool. So, you know, we come in with our bigger palette knives and, and that's fine. They also have a palette knife set. Do these not just remind you of cake decorating palettes? But I do like them. I like that they're nice and metal as well too. Um, three specially designed knife edges even. So they've got nice little texture grip on them. Um, so these might be really good if you have um, kind of like hand strength issues or grasping issues because the handles are a lot bigger. So they might be easier than those little bitty skinny ones that we try to work with sometimes. But this one's got um, three different palette knives in it, okay? Even the smaller palette knives, they work great when this guy is nice and full. As it starts to get lower, though, it is really hard to get stuff out, especially, as you can see in the picture here, when it gets down to this point. It is virtually impossible to get that little bit of glitter out. Also, when you have a smaller amount of glitter and it's all spread throughout here, it's more apt to dry out. So then this way, you can use these little spatulas. You can scrape it all together into one area of the container and it can keep itself nice and fresh. If you're down to this amount and you leave it all over the place, that's a lot of surface area and it's more apt to dry out. So this way you can scoop them real close together um, and it's going to stay fresh longer. Plus, again, like I said, you can use it just to scoop a little bit out at a time, um, a little bit easier than your palette knives as well too. And because they're silicon, if it dries on there, it's going to be a lot easier to get it off of silicon than it is like your metal spatulas. So little spatulas. Starla needs a set. Perfect. Jen wants a set as well. You got it, friends. Thank you much. Moving that along. These blending brushes. Becky was in today. Well, I told you that because she brought her samples. Um, luckily, I had a few packs of these because they went home with her after she saw them. So these are blending brushes. They each are individually cased. Check that out. They have their own little storage case. Love that. That way they don't roll around and get all yucky in your drawer or in your bag. Let me show you these. Look at the grip on them. Nice little grip, nice size. So these are not going to be used on your detail stencils, okay? Because, I mean, I mean, look at the size of it. But look at that. Look how beautifully that is going to blend on your stencils. So this pack, I think it's like 20 or 25 bucks, and you get five of them in there. So it's a nice size pack. You've got five of them in there. And Becky says, yes, they did. Becky's on here watching. She hasn't said much, but Becky, did you see when we, everyone loved your cards. I don't know if you were on them yet or not, but I showed your cards at the beginning. Everyone love, love, love them. So thank you. But so super great little, and like I said, they fit into your hand really nice. You know, so again, sometimes, you know, grip issues with the brushes. And this is nice and big. This is much bigger than a regular brush head would be. So this is going to be really good for ink blending big areas and maybe a little bit easier for some of you to, to hold and handle. 
So we got those in as well. And again, there are five in there and all five have their own little case. Okay. Oh, Becky Shannon loved your Christmas version and she's wanting everything that you use. So I may have to pick your brain to um, figure out what all products you used on that one. Um, let's see, palette knives. We already kind of showed those. Then next up, oh, and I didn't even think to charge this little booger. Dang on it. So this one here, but I've showed you guys little desk vacuums before, okay? Not a, not a new thing at all. I know We Are Memory Keepers has the cutest little desk vacuum as well. But this one has a new bell and whistle that all the other ones I have seen do not have. All right, so... Super, you know, super cute, and it's pink. I know some of you are just pink fans. Oh, look, it's working. Hold on. Oh, it's got two different speeds there. Let me find something for it to suck up. I don't know if I have anything. Do, do, do. I mean, I've got trash, but let's see here. I don't know if these are going to be too heavy or not. These are beads. We're going to see. Those might be kind of heavy, because usually it's like little paper fibers, things like that. So this might be... Oh, well, I was like, oh, it's gone. No, it just got stuck in the thing. I'm like, that's a lot for it to, I don't know if it'll suck those up. Oh, yeah, it did. That's a strong little vacuum. So yeah, it picked up, it's really loud. It picked up the little perler bead for sure. So that's a pretty strong little vacuum. Um, so this is going to be great for picking up little paper scraps on, left behind on your desk. It's going to be great for um, picking up glitter, embossing powder left behind. Just going good for all those type things. It does have a little rechargeable area here as well. So a little charge port, not rechargeable area, little charge port. That way you can keep it nice and charged so it's not battery operated. And then I want to show you, get this out here. Sorry, I'm using my teeth. I know that's bad. Okay. And picking up diamond dots, oh yeah, I bet so. All right, so it comes with its own little brush, that's fun. There's this little charging cord. This guy, this guy here, so if you need to, this is why I, this is why I loved it, okay? If you need to, where does it go though? I just saw it, and so then I had to buy it. Do, 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 do. Well, it doesn't show me, okay. It has this little attachment. Yeah, it says it goes right there. Oh, it says don't stick your finger in there. It's also telling me that. There we go. Okay, so then, you know those little dust bunnies that get into the crevices of your craft area? Now you can go in and suck those up as well because it's got the little attachment on it. Okay, I want to find something small. Oh, there we go. Here's a little seed bead. So then that way you can get into your little crevices I know all I had was, all I had was beads. Sorry guys. Well, they're super loud. And then that way you can go into, oh, Irene says, yeah, good for cleaning out your craft drawers, like glitter drawers. Now I do have one of those. So I've got my little craft drawer here. It doesn't look too bad, but there's some glitter in the corner. Let me just show you. Let me just show you how messy everything is around here. And I can get in there, my little scraps, getting those in the corners, clean it all out. Trying to do it to where it doesn't move my trash. It's already in there too. And then that way it can get into all those little corners. All right, I gotta get those beads out for you guys because it's just making me crazy. Um, so anyway, great little craft vacuum that we just picked up, brought into the store. So there's that, but yes, Irene, thank you. That is, it is gonna be good for getting into drawers and things like that. And then it opens up and you can dump everything out. So that way you can get rid of your stuff. Okay. Clean everything out. If your little guy is dirty because it's got all those glitter pieces in there, you can brush it out as well. And then you can put, uh, good question, Pat. I think it was 20 or 25. 
We didn't even get it priced yet. We are just now pricing um, Evergreen from yesterday, but I want to say 20 or 25. I cannot remember which, which I think the, um, which is right in line because I think the We Are one was like 18 or 19. Um, and it does not have this little attachment. And I'm not even for sure if that one is, I think it might be battery operated. I don't remember. I don't remember anymore, but just a fun little one here. And again, you can clean it out. Super easy peasy too. So desk vacuum. I gotta clean that up. Um, then the other day we got in with our Copic order that we got in. Um, we got back in our Avery L large stamp and die storage pockets. This is the one that's the huge 50 pack. Now, these are not super thick plastic. They're not um, as thick as like the sturdy ones that we were looking at yesterday, okay? So they're not super, super thick plastic, but, okay, um, definitely stronger than like a plastic baggie or something like that. So definitely stronger than that. These are nice. They've got a little fold down pocket so you can close everything up if you want to. You get 50 of them for 14 bucks. Um, I use this for storing a lot of things uh, and go, even going back and forth from work and home with my card samples just to keep my card samples nice. Um, I do a lot of times I will keep like if I got stamp sets and maybe dies that I'm keeping in the die package and I'm not putting them on uh, my magnet sheets. I keep those in here as well. So we got those in the other day for you guys. And then also we got in some of the texture roll that Sizzix carries. So this is really fun. Um, it's a much thicker paper. Um, I have seen a lot of crafters use this in book binding as well and doing book spines. So I'm gonna pull it out. So it is a much thicker, um, I used to get in, was it craft text? <coughs> I'm thinking so. We used to get in, it was in from the textile industry and they used it in bags and, and things like that. We used to get it in a product very, very similar. So it's really thick. It feels almost like, if this makes sense, a, a paper, like a leather paper. Okay, it's real thick like that. I mean, super, super thick. It's got a different feel to it, not like a regular paper feel does. You can die cut it. Um, so that would be really cool for doing different flowers and things like that. It's gonna, you know, definitely hold a lot different, but you could also use this like for spines on your mini books. If you're one that likes to, to sew your mini books together and create signatures, there's all kinds of fun stuff that you can do with this. So then we got in that again, it is called um, Texture Roll from Sizzix. Um, one of the things they have on the side here, wash and distress to create a leather effect. Um, so yeah, so like I said, it definitely has that leathery feel to it. Um, but if you can wash and distress it, so yeah, it, it is much like that craft text was because that craft text, you could actually wash that. Um, ideal for die cutting can be embossed as well too. So lots of fun things that you can do with this and it's six inches by 48 inches. So you've got a nice long little roll in here. Um, how much is the roll? Well, let me just see, these are all in the system. So let me grab these. We just haven't priced them yet because we didn't get time. But I'm gonna come back here to my computer and we're gonna check, still got all my, Hero Arts from the other day. We got to put that out yet too. All kinds of fun stuff going on around here. Here's my cracker snack I had to have today. My blood sugar like crashed today. It was crazy. Well, maybe. This computer likes to go to sleep. Hey Paige, is your computer on? Will you type in desk vacuum? Desk vacuum? It's that little pink one that you just did the other day. All right, sorry friends. I'm working here, Irene, I'm getting it. Paige is gonna do the desk vacuum and I'm gonna do, what is it? 25, all right, so Pat, this is 25. And then Irene, for you, 664909. Yours is 1029. So the little roll is 1029. So there we go, whew. All righty, friends. 
that is our live for today. So a few little great things. Oh, you're very welcome, Pat. I'm sorry we didn't have everything priced. We do try to, um, but some days we just, we, we're, you know, trying to get um, everything done. So yeah, um, it, it makes it a little harder to get it all priced, especially um, some of the stuff is so much of a special order. So it's just like, oh shoot, why even price it if it's just going to go right into somebody's bag anyway. But we started the, um, we started the live with beautiful samples from Miss Becky Shepherds um, using that honeybee stamp set, the little bud uh, die set, not stamp set, called bud vases. Absolutely stunning. Um, and then went a bunch of new papers, solid papers from Cartabella and Echo Park, and then all the fun crafters com companion stuff, starting with the flamazing flamingos, and then all kinds of great totally Tiffany storage. So friends, tomorrow I will work on getting all that pulled for you. Tomorrow I'm going to see a bunch of you because we have um, Copic coloring class with Miss Rita tomorrow. Cannot wait for that. So I'm going to see a bunch of you in the store tomorrow for your coloring class. I, I, I won't forget about you, Shannon. I'm going to go back up and we will, we will pull all, all the orders. Um, we always pull those the next day. So yes, won't forget about you at all. Um, so we're going to get all this pulled tomorrow, special orders on order. Um, and like I said, I will see some of you though tomorrow for Miss Rita's class. We are here tomorrow, 10 to 3. So if you are anywhere close to Southern Indiana, friends, please stop in and see me and Paige. She'll be working tomorrow with me as well. Like I said, we are going to be here from 10 to 3 Eastern time. And then I will see all of you, hopefully all of you, and maybe a few more, um, back here next Tuesday when we start back up on our lives. But until then, you guys have an amazing weekend. Hopefully you, wherever you are, you have great weather so you can enjoy it. Take all the pictures and make all the memories. Okay. See you friends. Bye.